Can you believe that this mistake happened in SpongeBob or this one? Well, you won't believe all of the other mistakes we're going to be covering in today's video. Let's get right into it. I'm Cartoon Cory, and here are a ton of mistakes in SpongeBob. What the? It's stuck! You gotta help me, SpongeBob! You've gotta let go of the dime. I can think of 10 good reasons to never let go of a dime, boy. Let's talk about a season two episode. How about Squid's Day Off? Let's get right into it. Here's the first mistake. The truth will be revealed! Woohoo! Right on Squidward! Okay, Mr. Krabs, get plenty of rest, and if things don't seem right, come back. Did you guys catch it? No? Well, here's a little hint, all right? It has to do with the sign, all right? I'm zooming in. Did you guys catch it yet? Yeah, they completely misspelled emergency, with them spelling it as E-N-E-E-R-E-N-C-Y. This is a really, really bad mistake. It's not like they got one letter wrong. Like, they completely butchered the spelling of the entire word. But I can actually tell you guys why. Back during this season, SpongeBob episode were animated in Korea by Rough Draft Korea. So it was probably a language situation where whoever like did the animation here didn't know how to spell the word in English. Mistakes happen. Anyways though, here's mistake number two. <laughs> You, now. you need the eyes of an eagle to catch this one. But when Squidward eventually makes it to the Krusty Krab for the final time, the road and sand outside switch colors just as he barges through the door. I'm showing it right here. To make it clear, it only happens right as he goes through the door. Before this, it looks like this, which is how it's supposed to look. But I'm showing it in slow motion, and yeah, that's the wrong color. That's pretty bad, man. And we've got more, guys. Let's head over to our next episode. And stay tuned, guys, because I'm saving the spiciest mistake for the ending of the video. We've got some cool ones on the way and random mistake of the day, so yeah, let's keep it moving. Hey everybody, it's Leaf Erickson Day! Hinga dinga dargan! <laughs> Dude, who remembers Bubble Buddy? I loved this episode as a kid. Dude is such an iconic character, Bubble Buddy. Fun fact, he actually reappears in later seasons, just saying. But we're not here for Easter eggs. We have videos on that, by the way. We're here for mistakes. And Bubble Buddy from season two has a couple mistakes. So roll the footage. Here we go. One of everything for Bubble Buddy. <gasps> oh no, Squidward, wait. There's cheese on these patties. And... Bubble Buddy's lactose intolerant, he can't eat cheese. Yeah, so this first one is just like, I don't know how we even caught it. Shout out to the Grapple team for catching this mistake. But in the clips you guys just saw when SpongeBob tells Squidward that Bubble Buddy is lactose intolerant, part of his like top right corner detaches from his body. We're zooming in, it's right here and circling it. And this one's just like a really weird mistake. It's a nitpick, who cares? No one would ever notice this while watching the episode, but it is a mistake. And here's another one from the same episode. No, go as in... <laughs> ah, why? You and that bubble have been nothing but trouble! It's time to end it! So this one's interesting. Let's take a look at Squidward over here. We'll look at this footage from the episode Culture Shock, and you'll notice Squidward has six limbs, all right? He has four legs and two arms. And this is canonical, all right? It's been like this since the beginning of SpongeBob lore. But in this episode, when SpongeBob inflates Bubble Buddy to escape the angry crowd that want to kill Bubble Buddy, look, Squidward is just randomly drawn with a fifth leg. When, as I just mentioned, like he's supposed to have four legs, so they just randomly drew an extra one, and that is a mistake. I'm sure Squidward isn't complaining. Having an extra limb is probably very nice, but I don't know how Nickelodeon feels about that one. Can I have the secret formula? No! Okay. But he was persistent. Pretty please? Uh-uh. He used disguise! <laughs> Super science! Ooh, ooh, oh yeah. We've been doing a lot of season two and three episodes in this video, so let's just keep it going. Here's another one, Plankton's Army. Some season three goodness, I love this episode. Let's get into the first mistake though. Let's see if you guys can catch it, all right, Grapple Gang? I want you to comment the mistake if you find it before I say it, all right? Let's do it. Well, what's all the yelling about? Today is the 25th anniversary of the first time the arch enemy Plankton ever tried to steal me secret Krabby Patty formula. What a quaint restaurant. 
Welcome to the Krusty Krab! Did you guys catch it? Well, when Mr. Krabs says today is the 25th anniversary of the first time Plankton's ever tried to finesse him, he doesn't say that exactly, but you get the idea. The door to Mr. Krabs' office can be seen. It's shown right here, all right? And this is accurate. Mr. Krabs has always had his office door right here. However, though, when this robot shows up, the door is just magically gone. Like, it's just not drawn in this one shot right here, which is really weird and lazy. But to make things funny, when Mr. Krabs and Squidward eventually walk outside, look, the door is back. So it was there, then it's gone, and then it's back again. Hey, mistakes happen. At least we can get a laugh out of it, right guys? Well, we're definitely gonna get a laugh out of this next episode's mistakes because boy, oh boy, is it rough. Let's keep it rolling, Grapple Gang. I have no time for a cretin like you. I must find my Wonder Whale action figure. Oh, 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 stop it, you clod! <laughs> Some of my favorite Spongebob episodes, like my top 10 favorite episodes, are these specials. They're way different than regular episodes because they're longer, and they usually have like way more plot. But of course, just like regular episodes, they also have mistakes. And the episode Swamp Mates is no exception. I'm breaking that season 2 and 3 streak right now. This is a more modern episode of Spongebob. But hey, season 12 is still good. But anyways, this episode Swamp Mates has a mistake. Rule the footage. <laughs> If only I had something large and buoyant! You guys may have caught it, but when Bubble Bass says our only escape, look, his eyes are the same color as his glasses. Normally, Bubble Bass has like regularly white eyes, and even when he's wearing his glasses, when you look through them, his eyes are still white. But yeah, in this one shot, it's just all the same color, and it's not that big of a deal, but it looks really weird. Don't worry though, guys, the mistakes coming up are a lot worse than this one. So, let's keep it moving! SpongeBob is the only guy I know that can have fun with a jellyfish for 12 hours! All right, the episode is Jellyfish Jam, and I love this episode. SpongeBob ends up befriending one jellyfish, and look at what happens. Oh, jellyfish! So as you guys know, SpongeBob's living room is on the bottom floor of his house, all right? We know this, this is just a fact. Now in this episode, in the clips you guys just saw, we have that moment where Squidward is playing his clarinet, it's not so good, and SpongeBob tells him to play his clarinet better. Savage, SpongeBob, you are a savage. Now, as you can see, SpongeBob is in his living room, but when he pokes his head out to talk to Squidward, he appears to be in a window that belongs to the second floor. But then when he goes out of the window, he's back in his living room again, which should be on the first floor, so this is totally a mistake here. How did Spongebob go all the way up here if he was in his living room? That's not where his living room is, up there is where his bedroom is. I'm definitely overthinking this, this is like a typical case of cartoon logic, it is a cartoon after all, but still technically a mistake. And don't worry guys, this next one from the same episode is a lot worse. We'll just keep you right here. Meow. Quit worrying Gary, he'll be just fine. Good night everybody. This one is very, very, very weird, and I can't blame the animators, to be honest with you. Like, a normal person would not catch this mistake, but we're different over here at Grapple, all right? The Grapple team and Cartoon Cory, we go hard. So, in the clips you guys just saw, SpongeBob and Gary go to sleep after partying all night with the jellyfish. Like, they were turning up. Like, I personally want to party with some jellyfish after this. Like, they know how to put on a party. But anyways, SpongeBob and Gary go to sleep, all right? And if we look at SpongeBob's bed, his green bathrobe is just hanging from one side of his bed. But the problem is there is no hook on Spongebob's bed. We've seen Spongebob's bed in many other episodes, and the bamboo parts of his bed frame never have a hook on them. It's like his green bathrobe is just like standing magically beside his bed. It shouldn't be hanging there because there's no hook. Like I said, it's a weird one, but it is 100% a mistake. And I mean, come on, you guys know exactly what I'm going to say. I end every section like this. There's more. Let's head over to another episode and cover more mistakes. And I wasn't lying about saving the worst for the end. Uh, have you seen a Krabby Patty? It's about this tall and... Wow, a magic shop. Are you a magician?
F is for friends that do stuff together. Always for you and me. I love this episode. Fun. I can't believe I just sung for you guys, but such a good episode. Before we get into it, though, here are some fun clips from this episode. It's a really good episode. And then we're getting right to the mistakes. And guys, trust me, there are really bad mistakes in this episode. How does it feel to be the most hated thing in Bikini Bottom, Plankton? It hurts, doesn't it? And for running you out, we're gonna make this kid honorary town rookie of the day. <laughs> for he's a jolly good rookie. You're forgetting the mission. What are you talking about? You're going native, Plankton. Look at yourself. What? Okay, it's time for mistakes. It's what you guys clicked on the video for, after all. There are a bunch in this episode, but we're gonna focus on one because it's really, 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 really bad. Roll the footage. I... I don't see anything. How can you not see it? Okay, okay, I see it. It's a Krabby Patty, okay? I couldn't help it. So as you guys saw at the very end of the episode, Plankton's plan is exposed, all right? Now, in the clip where he reveals that he took the Krabby Patty, if we look at his bottom legs, all right, we're gonna have to adjust the positioning of the footage, and we're gonna zoom in at the very bottom because we need to see the bottom of the frame. And we're gonna play it in slow motion, and you'll notice that Plankton's legs just keep on disappearing and reappearing. It's really weird. Now, this right here is an animation glitch. This is like a bad one where you can tell during like the rendering process, something messed up, dude, because his legs just keep on flickering in and out and it just looks very, very strange. Yes, I realize my artistic brilliance can be overwhelming. Quite frankly, it stinks. Okay, we're heading back over to season 12. The episode is in security guards and pretty much SpongeBob and Patrick volunteer as guards at the museum. And I will say they're not the best at it. Here's a little compilation of them just not being the best guards at a museum. And then we're gonna get right into the mistakes. <laughs> Before laughter, there was the pre-hysterical period. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely not hiring SpongeBob or Patrick if I need a guard. I also don't know if I'm gonna hire the animators of this episode because they made a massive mistake. Roll the clip. Why won't you work? Huh? You guys may have caught it, especially because I will admit, I think we've covered this one in the past. I could be wrong though. But throughout this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick wear this. What's really important here is Patrick. Look at him in his fresh little security guard outfit, my boy. Now, throughout this whole episode, this is what Patrick is wearing while at the museum, all right? Especially during this scene, just before they get swallowed and spit out by a woolly mollusk. Now, if you look closely, when they first arrive at the woolly mollusk, they're wearing their security guard outfits. Then they get put in his mouth and spit out but when they're spit out, look, Patrick is randomly back in his regular clothes. And then when they land, he's back in his security card outfit. So you can see the animators made a mistake during the animation of them being spit out of the woolly mollusk. They forgot to draw Patrick in his security guard outfit, making for a really bad mistake. It's pretty interesting, but you know what's also interesting? The random mistake of the day. That's right, it's time for the random mistake of the day, where we talk about a random cartoon suggested by you guys and talk about mistakes in that cartoon, and then we'll go right back to Spongebob. Today we're gonna do another Nickelodeon classic, Hey Arnold, and to all of our younger viewers, don't worry, we're gonna go back to Spongebob, but this was a massive Nickelodeon Nicktoon show, and the mistake itself is like really, really bad. It's worse than any of the Spongebob mistakes we covered today. The episode is Eugene's bike, and let's see if you guys can spot it. And here's a hint, it has to do with this character right here named Stinky, and roll the clip. Wanna see my albino worm collection? I call this one Pinky. Uh, no thanks, Billy. Okay, but you don't know what you're missing. Look, you guys! It happens right at the beginning of the episode. But when we see Stinky standing with Joey in Park, look, his entire right hand is just missing. Like these dudes just did not draw his hand at all. No hand there. And again, it isn't for like a couple of seconds. Like it's like this for a while. So yeah, massive mistake. And let's get back to SpongeBob. You just gotta follow my training program. Wow, really? That'd be great, Sandy. I can see me now. La 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 
Good night, Gary. Yeah, this episode is iconic. I'm talking about Muscle Bob Buff Pants. You guys know Cartoon Cory loves season one, that Steven Hillenburg era. Here's the thing though, guys, even an episode as good as this one has a mistake. Roll the footage. Hi, Squidward. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Ahoy, Mr. Krabs! Mother of Pearl! This one's pretty straightforward. Hopefully you guys caught it. If not though, Cartoon Cory's got you covered. But while Mr. Krabs is sweeping in front of the Krusty Krab, our boy has a coloring error as look at his sleeve, it's red. So this right here is totally a mistake. Like Mr. Krabs, what's going on, man? Okay, okay, to be fair, only half of it's actually red. The other half is the color it's supposed to be, but this is still an error. And we've got more. Here's another one from Muscle Bob Buff Pants. Heck, what's your secret? What? Your secret workout? What is it? Yeah, yeah I mean, come on. Yeah, I know. Are you kidding? Now, this one isn't as simple as that last one, so you guys need to listen very closely, but when SpongeBob reveals his secret workout to the others, we can see Larry the Lobster in Incidental 24, right here, and behind them is Incidental 24Q. Remember this, okay? It's the three of them with Incidental 24Q behind them, and here's a PNG of Incidental 24Q. I want you guys to really see how this character looks. As, like, seconds later, guys, in the same scene, Incidental 24Q gets replaced by a completely different other background fish being Incidental 24B. Now this on its own is a mistake because it happens in a matter of seconds, the fish behind them wouldn't transform into an entirely different fish. But there's another mistake here, as take a look at Incidental 24B's actual design. Look at this PNG of him. He's this color, alright? He looks like this. But in this episode, when he randomly replaces Incidental 24Q, he's colored incorrectly. As a matter of fact, he's colored the same color palette as Incidental 24Q, so just wow. Man, two mistakes in one scene. Crazy. But let's head over to another episode of Spongebob, guys, with even more wild mistakes. I won't be needing these. Buzz, 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 buzz. He took buzz. off his pants. I'll give him a week. I'll give him 11 minutes. Nature Pants is a really good episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob decides to live with the jellyfish. Like he literally moves out of his pineapple home and lives in jellyfish fields. Our man becomes homeless by choice. Now I've got two mistakes for you guys in this episode and they're really, really bad. Like I said, I saved the worst for the end. Here's the first one and guys, I wanna see if you can spot it before I reveal it. So comment it if you figure it out before I reveal the actual mistake. All right, here's the clip. What have I done? I had a great life and friends, and I gave all of that up. Welcome. It's at the ending of the episode, but when SpongeBob finally comes home and they're celebrating for about one frame, look, Patrick is missing his whole mouth. Like, how do you forget to draw somebody's mouth? Especially a hungry boy like Patrick who's always eating. Like, give that boy his mouth back. Just a really bad mistake, guys. And here's mistake number two from the same episode. Here, Patrick. Have a Krabby Patty. There Here's Patrick, say your lie. So let's take a look at Sandy Cheeks over here, all right? And one thing we'll notice is that her neck is brown. It's the same color as like her brown fur. Like look at the color of her fur right here, I'm arrowing it. That is the color that her neck always is, as you can see in these images. But when Sandy says, there he is, Patrick, if we look, her neck is actually the same color as her cheeks, which is a major mistake. It's supposed to be the brown color. It makes sense. Now, that's going to do it for today's video, Grapple Gang. But if you want more SpongeBob mistakes, click this video right here, where I cover like a hundred Spongebob mistakes in one video. So do it, click it, and I'll see you guys over there. And also a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang and the Premiere Gang. If you're at the Premiere, I love ya. But yeah, click this video. I'll see you guys over there. Peace.